part three of our watch along to Padman. Padman. If you haven't seen the other two parts, please go watch the other two parts uh, of this. Uh, if uh, you're seeing this on YouTube, you're going to see a very cut of versions, just like the other two parts. If you uh, like to see a full uncut version, though, of this part and the other parts, uh, you can head over to Patreon, upload description, and pin comments. You can go check that out. And at the end of this one, we will talk about the movie and review it if we liked it. If not, we will leave early. Yeah. Bye. Anyways. Uh, let's just get back into this, huh, Rick? Huh? Oh, let's do it! Yeah. Let's do it! It's gonna be funny. Probably not. Probably more uh, maddening. Yes, I have a feeling I'm I'm anticipating some stuff. That's I think it's gonna, gonna be uh, similar to like a um, uh, <coughs> uh, a Ushman film where you're gonna have lighthearted commercial fare, but yes. with a important uh, and uh, uh, hard hitting story. Yes. Um, and based off of true events. Obviously. Yes. So here we go. All right. Yeah, sorry. She's a sweet, sweetheart. Uh, Hello? Ugh. Gayatri. Ooh. Yeah, that sucks. Because I totally, I, I, I so empathize with her. Mera mind, white paper. No dog. I don't want to become a kid. When two people live together, they work together. It's always going to happen. It's a human body. It's a happens. Hey! Padma Shri Batman! What? Ah, you think? It's called Padma Shri Diya Gaya Hai. Really? Lot of man, not at the na. Aj Bahi Lok Tere Ko Rat Me Bita Kar Le Kar Jayenge. Yeah, but did they change their minds? Because. Maheshwar Ko Bol De Na Tayar. Lakshmi make bad machine, but Pari make Lakshmi. Why didn't you tell him that you loved him so much? Why, why did you let him go? अगर मैं उसे जाने नहीं देती ना, तो वो वो नहीं रहता जिसे मैं जिसे मैं whatever करती हूँ. अरे दीदी तो लंदन में काम कर रही हैं। हाँ, that must be him. All right. Wow. That was cow film head. Way, 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 way above what I was expecting it to be. Is what I was hoping it would be. Um, just because that good. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, because I was. I've, I've wanted to watch it for a long time. It's sure. just it's one of those ones that kind of falls under the rug, and and uh, you just haven't gotten to it in five years. Yeah. And, uh, it has Radhika, so anything she's in is pretty high up there for me. But uh, that's as what else I was hoping. It definitely exceeded uh, even my expectations. But that, uh, and I don't know how much it was true and how much was for cinematic purposes. Sure. Obviously, I'm yeah, sure like the, the meeting I'm, on the street. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure a lot of the plot points are Had true some, in yeah. terms of like. This happened. This right. happened, and there was cinematic stuff that was put in to right. make it a uh, entertaining film because it, right. it man, was it? And I, I I need to go back and look at. We haven't seen a ton of Akshay actually. Surprisingly, we've seen a ton of videos, not a ton of films. I want to say five or six, maybe. I think it's easily his my favorite performance of his, without question. Yeah, yeah. I knew it. I was suspecting it throughout, and then the UN speech just sealed the deal for me. Oh, yeah, it's it was great. It, it great just, scene. He's just perfect. It's 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 a don't need any improvement on on what he did. And I said it during while we were watching it. Shout out to the casting. Um, everybody was was exactly right for the roles. Um, yeah. Except for the the, the white voiceover actor. <laughs> um, sorry, whoever you were, it just didn't work. Yeah. Um, but boy, oh boy, this this is this is I I, I love love this movie. Yeah. Um, oh, then here's the other one, Toilet, which mm -hmm. gives off a similar vibe. And who's in that one? Anupam it's Akshay. Boomy, it's Boomy. With and Anupam Kerr. Yeah. 
Um, anyways, but yeah, the uh, the whole story of it is one that I was like, okay, this is probably gonna make me mad because right. it's probably gonna be a bunch of idiots right. thinking that you right. know having a period is something evil or something to be ashamed of. Or right. then that's a stigmatism all over the world in different stages all over the world, obviously. And but it's still stigmatism. Like a lot of guys here, stupidly, like won't go pick up tampons for their girlfriend because they'd be they're embarrassed. Why it never why? made why it never made sense to me. I'm like I know. Um, I've never understood. Like, I mean, I don't. <laughs> just like I don't. Anyway, I don't. I'm not gonna say that. Um, why? Like, I never understood why blood was so like ew. Well, there's guys who won't even carry their wife's purse. Yeah, but like, you bleed, right? We we bleed if we cut ourselves. And people, unless you're squeamish from blood, of course, like you're not like, ew, gross. But like, just because it comes out of an orifices <laughs> because of something natural happening with the body, it's, it's a somehow gross. It's a, a 99% of it finds its roots in, in religious dogma. Yeah. And then the other 1% of it is just, if someone doesn't have a religious dogma t associated with it, it just, it stems from ignorance and not yeah. being educated. Yeah. Probably like, men yeah. not understanding and then women perpetuating that in the society as well. That happens a lot of times. I'm so grateful that of all the relationships that I have had that were very serious relationships, um, that every single one of the women I've been with were not at all stigmatized by their period in any way, shape, or form. Nor should they be. And Obviously. and we're really thankful. And a, a couple very shocked that like, I remember the first time I went to, I was like, I need I either I need tampons or I need pads because it depended. Some of the, the ladies want tampons, some want pads. Uh, being a couple, being shocked, it's like, yeah, you're okay just going to the store to buy me my my pads or my tampons. Like, uh, yeah, why wouldn't I be? Yeah, it's a it's an unfortunate stigmatism, and obviously in India, especially rural India, it's a t totally different stigmatism as well. When just we saw in here sitting out, I'm sure that's no, not every village, but the village that they were. But uh, and doing but here. then there's other reasons. There's people who. And I know some of these personally, who daughters, their moms don't talk to them about their periods or anything else about their bodies as they hit their teens. It's like all of a sudden, once the daughters have hit teenage years, the moms don't know what to do with them now because they're not their little girls. Yeah. And they, they just the girls wind up having to learn about tampons or pads from cousins or other friends and not from their their moms. Um it, it, it's sad. It's very, very sad. Um, I also feel like, and I'm looking forward to, because I have a daughter, obviously, so it's going to be a totally new experience for me because I grew up with brothers. So I was, I, I don't have a stigmatism about any of it, but I was never taught about it either. Right. It's just my, I mean, my dad's was no was never anything to stigmatize anything like that. Uh, they're obviously two really good guys, but um, I'm looking forward to not only obviously. My wife, obviously, being able to tell my daughter about what to expect sure. and all that kind of stuff and supporting her in that way, but also teaching my sons. Be like, this is a woman's yeah. body. This is what's happening. It's nothing I'll tell you what, weird. I'll tell you what's really great. I was an only child, but I was raised by very open parents, mm -hmm. so it was never stigmatized. I spent several of my teen years when my dad was married to a lady who had daughters and Donna and Denise were two years older than me. Everybody was really open about it. Yeah. And I, I, Micah grows up with the benefit of having two sisters. sisters yeah. And I, I, I live in the benefit of that all of the women in my world have always been open about the fact that when it's that time of the month, it's that time of the month. My daughters have absolutely no problem when they communicate in some respect. For example, they, they might be, Alexis and Micah may be coming over to watch a movie and Alexis will come over and she'll, she'll just say, I'm not feeling too great because I'm on my period right now. Great. Yeah. Cool. I, Obviously. It's just, it's not. I and don't, I don't know when specifically this was. I'm guessing early 2000s, the story, uh, at least. Yeah. Because of the phone, I'm guessing. Because it's. Yeah. Early uh, two thousand, late 90s, early 2000s, probably. But um, I'd love to know statistically. I'm sure it's not 100%. Yeah, still, yeah. And especially are, rural. Especially rural. Obviously in the cities, I'm sure. It's but like you said, right even here in America, there there's a lot of people in different places like don't even want you to talk about the fact that you know it's it's, it's she's, she, 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 she. no one wants to they won't even talk about it Wait, openly it's the, or it's, or men get it's like the woman may not have to go sleep in a different room 
But the man is so repulsed by the fact that his wife's on her period. There's just zero intimacy with them yeah. until her period's gone because it's yeah. just so dirty. Yeah, the your your generation, not you specifically, but your generation and people older. Um, <laughs> like whenever I've been, it's happened many times. Um, and it happens like with being a dad as well, just because I think the dads of your generation and older were just so terrible. <laughs> many were <laughs> usually, but like they like. I will be pushing my children by myself and I'll be like, oh, you're such a good dad. Just by, you know, pushing my children. Right. The base, like literally not even the basis of a, being a father. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or like I'll go out and buy my wife tampons. I'm not hiding it or anything. They're yeah. like, oh, you're such a good boyfriend. Or, I'm right. Like, it's like, why? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just to be normal. <laughs> yeah. It's unfortunate. Unfor good thing is with younger generations, as always, things change and progress as they should. Uh, but let's get back to the movie. Obviously, yeah. uh, um, Akshay, my favorite performance. He did a phenomenal job. Beautiful. Um, if this came out this year, I would have nominated him for a dummy. A hundred percent. I thought he did so well. Yep. Um, Radhika, you know my feelings about my girl Come Radhika. Um, and she, she had a hard role. She uh, did. Very emotional role. Really uh, uh, she role didn't. that she probably couldn't relate to uh, very very much but, either. But she clearly didn't judge her, her character. Nobody did. Everybody clearly portrayed these characters in ways because I'm sure for most of these, these artists, the ones who had to portray the really closed-minded people um, were personally themselves turned off by the character and you can't do that when you're portraying a character you cannot judge the character no and i felt everybody was real that's why it affects you the reason you get so angry is because the actors are doing such a good job portraying the reality of these people and yeah radica's radica right, she just yeah. doesn't turn in a bad performance yeah, she's great she just doesn't uh it's and it's this r bulky and we've had a interesting relationship with him might be my favorite film of his we've seen a few so we've seen um, this past year with Love Stories. Part too. of Love oh, Stories, we didn't like yeah. His, uh, we didn't like his show no. very much. Uh, Deers and Doggy. Oh, he's a producer. Sorry. Producer. Uh, yeah, we're look, look filter the nine directing uh, credits. It was, what is it? Uh, yeah, Chini Coom. Uh, oh, another yeah. Another really good one. Um, I Chini like this. Coom's very good. Yeah, I like this one more than Chini Coom, just maybe because it's more um, modern. That one had a lot of budgetary constraints from what I... Six like it, different films, yeah, too. Yeah, very different. Both really good. Yeah. Uh, and he has other ones. Pa, that we need to see, <laughs> we obviously. Uh, Shamatab uh, with uh, Danush and uh, Amitab. Um, but, and then he did uh, Boy, another one. Boy, stupid babies. Thank you so much. The, the, the last four, five watch-alongs have just been superlative. Yeah, um, and that's always obviously better. Than the yeah, alternative. any movie watching experience, but anytime I can walk away from a film, not only having been personally moved and and thrilled by it, but it's the kind of film that you are excited to share with other people, to share the story, especially when like this, that's true, and share the great performances. This is this is one of those treasures of excitement where I just want to share it with everybody. And we've had several in a row that are just yeah. the kind of film I want to go share with everybody. Uh, the score was great with our great our, score. Our, 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 uh, Pondu. Um, Amit Trivedi. Yeah, beautiful score. Uh, I also thought uh, Sonam Kapoor. Uh, mm -hmm. who, she did a great she job. She did a very good job. Um, I believe, like, I don't know if that aspect of it was true, like I said, but I could, I could believe it could have been true. Could totally, um, totally believe that and believed her. And it, it was one of those circumstances that you absolutely have no problem at all. You recognize that happens. Why wouldn't she in some way? Why wouldn't he in some way? Yeah. Find her attractive. Um, um yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to, because I was like, I reckon, oh, so, uh, she was in Sanju. Hmm. Bogmukabog. Bogmukabog. Um... She she looks like Topeka Pakon's sister to me. Like <laughs> she like her nose yeah. is so similar. Eye to, shape uh, is very Dupika similar. Topeka Pakon. Yeah. Um, but she did a great job. She did a great so job. So did her dad. Um, almost everybody did a, a, yeah. a very good job. I uh, I never like it, and people have pointed out. She's like, you don't think people? Uh, pe people have told me because whenever Damn, somebody, she's with UTA. Whenever somebody is bad in a movie, like in terms of like their their character, the character is, being is a bad like, person, bad person, and then they kind of get a kind of a redemption in the end a little bit i always hate it because i don't like when bad people are yeah <laughs> you're not like, a fan you of redemption like you don't think people uh, can uh, make bad choices and have redemptions like depends on the person <laughs> that's uh, so for corbin redemption has a measure of grace attached to it i yeah there's the a thing. there's a there's a barometer of the grace extension. i also don't think people change very much in yeah. life actually change so that's like a personal thing I have. Is like I actually believe when when somebody shows you who they are, that's who they you are. You should believe them the first and time. And if they change, <clears throat> they're probably lying. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm a pessimist. That's a pessimism. <laughs> yes. So that's where that comes from. Yes. Uh, is that I just think most people are lying. Uh, I do believe for her character arc, which was really wonderful, and the differentiation between her and the other people, who I believe were just applauding him for his success, not yeah. because he changed their minds. Yeah. The majority of what she did was driven by fear of shame. But that's, I think, most of like all the women. Or it's, a, it's the fear of shame. A lot of them, it's the fear of shame. But for a lot of them as well, it's also, she had it as well. But the predominance for her was the fear of shame. That was her primary motivation. Yeah. The primary motivation on the others, fear of shame was there. But the primary motivation for them was this sense of what's right and wrong in a religious context and a righteousness context and what is considered unholy, impure, and irrespective of what you say to me, I don't care what evidence you give me scientifically, I don't care what kind of logic you give me educationally, you're wrong, I'm right, and you need to stop what you're doing. Yeah. She didn't seem to have that. She had some of it. Yeah. That's why her redemption arc for me made sense because I felt like the driving force behind her and everything was she was willing to set aside much of it for her love for him. She just was so pressured by all of them yeah. to to give in to this uh, to and the fear of being shunned because of shame. Yeah. Um and there's women in that situation, she said it. She said, I'm gonna kill myself because of this shame. It's really sad. We've seen it in films. Yeah, yeah it's before. really sad. I, I'm really thankful that the redemption arc brought them back together because they clearly loved each other. They really, yeah. they re the whole reason he started this was because of his love for her. Yeah. It's it was a, all for her. It's such a smart man, too. Oh, what to a great to, guy. Uh, to make this machine and to, like I said, certain things. Obviously, there, I don't think there's anything wrong with being capitalistic to a point. To a point. To a point to make a living. Yeah. But... On certain things, I don't believe you should make a profit on so like basic, basic human necessities. That's why, like, if, if people want to charge for, like, water or, like, basic human necessities, um, it, like, if there were more females in Congress and in, in government, more uh, women's issues would be free for them. Like, there would, there's a there's a, a pink tax is what it's called yeah. in the United States on uh, feminine products. Yeah, or just I've said it over and over again, the insanity, the fact that the United States of America has codified in our Constitution gun ownership yeah, as yeah. a human right, but not health care. Yeah. Mind-bogglingly uh, stupid. Yeah. Uh, anyways. Yeah, great, 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 great film. Uh, great was, film. Really great. I was yeah. probably at the top of my Akshay film list, I think. Um, and we've seen some good ones from him, too. But we still haven't seen a ton. Uh, everything. Radhika. The reason I call her like the best actress in India, or at least one of them, for sure, uh, because she's and this is a, such a different role. This is like a conservative, yeah. um, um, uh, female uh, wife role. But it's it's that so, she normally plays the corky roles. Yeah, but she is so built internally as a human being, like a like a Kalki Caitlin on you know her Instagram and stuff all the time. There's this constant, and she does ads for feminine products. Yeah, you know th this means a lot to her personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching thank with you. us. I hope you enjoyed it uh, as we did. Let us know what the next watch along should be for an Akshay or Radhika. Yeah. Or Bulky as well. Um, films that we should Or Sonam Kapoor. Sonam Kapoor. Yeah. Uh, let us know there. If you're seeing this on YouTube, you saw a very cut up version uh, because of copyright reasons, obviously. If you'd like to see the full uncut version, so you can head over to Patreon. Yes. I'll put a link in the description below in the pinned comments so you can go check that out. A bunch of other stuff over there, too. And uh, on to the next watch along.